what's going on YouTube so it's just our luck again it's raining when I want to go out to the trails but we still got to go still got to get it done it's been a great week so far crushed a six mile run I'll throw up uh, on the screen early this week Tuesday broke in some new shoes the uh, a6 Nova blast I'll probably talk about those later but felt really good just kind of went by feel ran a quicker 10k than I've ran in a while I wasn't really pushing hard but it was just kind of letting my legs flow go by feel and I ended up running like a 930 something which is way better than I've been running recently so I feel like my fitness and conditioning is starting to come back yesterday it was kind of the same deal I ran just a simple four miles but it felt good it felt pretty easy and I think that was even uh, sub 10 as well and then today it is 625 right now sipping some coffee to kind of wake up the system System and uh, get ready for this trail run so I'm gonna do two to two and a half I'm kind of leaving it open-ended I think it just depends on if there's a good kind of turnaround point but two to two and a half hours out there on the trails today it's gonna be a mix of walking some of the steep inclines and then just jogging the other so I'm kind of doing like a little bit of practice how I play so practicing taking those kind of power hike moments and transitioning into runs just like I would uh, during this 50k race I'm preparing for so that's the plan today getting a few things knocked out of the gym like i said drinking this coffee and then we're gonna head out there it's a little bit of rain coming today not as bad as two weeks ago when i got out there and i was like drenched immediately but uh it's just definitely drizzling so i'm gonna try and film as much as i can with the gopro but it might be hard to so we'll see i'm gonna enjoy this coffee and i'll catch you all out at the trails party people we're at the trails and let me show you guys what I got packed with today luckily it's not really raining too bad it's a little drizzly uh, but not too shabby not too cold either it's like mid upper 40s and I think as the Sun gets a little bit higher hopefully it warms up a little bit more but uh, shouldn't be too bad so first thing up I'm still warming up with the mini band so I brought that with me to warm up I of course got ugh, my GoPro to help film a little bit different attachment this time it actually like extends right here so it's like a little mini extension pole but I got that for it and then I'm also rocking these bad boys I got these for my birthday so thank you to my fiance Maddie the aftershocks or now they're called shocks uh, Aeropex which are now renamed as open run so a little bit of a rename of the brand and the product but those are pretty cool because they go over the ear and they send the music through like bone um, conducting I believe is the term basically through vibrations you get like the music playing um, and that way you can still hear your surroundings which is important for staying, staying safe during running whether it's the wilderness or whether it's a car coming anything like that next up the vest I'm still rocking the what is it advanced skin 5 from Solomon love this thing bunch of different pockets just water in this so this is about I believe a 20 ounce uh, thing of water so nothing in here and then in each pocket I have one of these Huma gels if I can get it out so this one is a cafe mocha I think it has a little bit of caffeine too you can see that the other guy I got in here is just a what was it a blueberry so I've had this one before actually it's kind of like a jelly consistency it's almost like you spread it on toast but you're just eating it raw so it's a it's a little weird consistency but uh, so far the flavors of that have been pretty good I got two variety packs um, that you can get on Amazon for Christmas so I'm kind of rolling through those and that's probably what I'll use for my race and obviously practicing for my race so I'm gonna have one gel an hour so after one hour and then after two hours just sipping water throughout and then of course I've got my Solomon ultra glides and then wearing some sweatpants now I'm obviously gonna change out of these sweatpants I got some 10,000 shorts underneath the session short and then I'm wearing the over zip as well that's enough rambling about the gear let me warm up and we'll get rolling all right we are all suited up got the headphones on everything packed up so I'm gonna walk for like a tenth of a mile like I normally do to kind of be the last part of my warm-up and then get rolling down that way the 
been pretty lucky so far. It's not really raining, at least as far as I can tell. If anything, it's like a mist. Feeling pretty good so far. Almost close to two miles. Legs feel a little heavy, but endurance wise, energy wise, I feel pretty good. But like I said, we'll see how things develop. See how things are after I get that first gel in me. Get a little boost of energy. And uh, I'll catch up with you on a little bit. Five point one seven miles right now still feeling pretty good but I know within 20 minutes I'm gonna start to feel real tired so good timing for the gel I'm gonna start with the oh wrong one <laughs> I'm gonna start with the caffeine one I don't know how much caffeine contents in it but any little bit will help along with the actual sugar and food content of it so I'm gonna down this because I'm almost at an hour and then got another 15 minutes before I turn around and we make two and a half hour run. I'm guessing I'll be like 13-ish miles total. We'll see. Gonna put the camera away, have the gel. seven miles I turned around a little bit ago and the rain starting to come down a little bit more so just my luck still not too bad still more of a drizzle but um legs feel okay calves definitely getting tired hip flexors definitely tired quads getting there and also a little hungry I kind of underfed myself before the run I just had my bigger breakfast but nothing else so that's my fault but I got one more gel, I'm gonna save close to that two hour mark. It's definitely pretty muddy out here. Overall, still having a good run, especially since I haven't done this distance in a long time. But yeah, I feel like this is where the real run starts. I spend an hour and a half getting to the point where I'm pretty fatigued and it's running on fatigued legs that prepares me mentally and prepares me physically because I'm gonna face heavy fatigue tired legs during the race so I need to get my body used to running on them and pushing through I love these sections the best just because they're easy to run on they're mostly flat and consistent not much rocks or gravel just pretty flat a little muddy but a good stretch for me to build up some speed and uh, recover from any hills. On the last mile and a half, definitely fatigued everywhere in my lower body and lower back a little bit, but don't have much left, so I'm gonna troop through. Also, a lot of the uphills I faced coming out are now downhills, so Gaining some speed, finishing pretty strong, and I'll give you guys a recap once I get back to the car. guys I absolutely crushed it at least in my opinion basically right at two and a half hours when I finished the run 14.16 miles at a 1039 pace which considering it's a trail it's rainy it was a little bit muddy and I haven't really I haven't ran this far in a really long time my body hasn't really been used to running the trails 
This is kind of like old school Brock, back in my original form, running a good pace, pushing up hills, and uh, it's, it's just really good for building my confidence like five and a half weeks out from this race knowing that you know 14 miles is it's not even really half of the distance I'm going to run of the 33 miles for the 50k but it's half I feel like I crushed it I feel like I did pretty good right under a thousand feet elevation gain 906 and uh, heart rate was in a good spot I just gotta keep nailing down the nutrition keep working with that figure out the right strategy for that but man I'm feeling good. This was a huge confidence builder. And um, yeah, I told you guys, once I get healthy, the content's going to come back. It'll be a little bit better. Sorry if it's been slack in the last few weeks, but uh, man, it feels good. But that's going to be it for this video. I think this, this long run was enough for a good quality video focused on this run specifically. So that's the long run for this week. I'm going to do eight miles Saturday, six miles Sunday, wrap up a good solid week of training. And uh, man, we're we i'm very excited for this race hopefully you guys are too to see the process see how the race goes and uh like the video comment what you think and i'll catch you guys in the next one